The year stock market remains unaffected by a downbeat ADP employment report released yesterday. Meanwhile, year stocks are trading at elevated levels. The question is how the market will respond to a tepid weekly update on year's unemployment claims. Today, traders are not pleased about a weekly report on unemployment claims. The actual number of initial jobless claims declined last week less than expected. This uh, caught market participants off guard. Earlier this week, investors were discouraged by the downbeat data provided by ADP payroll processor. Will the market sentiment change under such economic conditions and how? Let's try to figure out. The S&P 500 has been trading flat at near 4,524 over the last 24 hours. It hardly responded to yesterday's macroeconomic data. Following the data on unemployment claims today, the index dipped another 3-5 points because the data appeared to be mixed. The S&P 500 is unlikely to climb higher later this week. It's expected to trade in the corridor of 4,500 to 4,530 points. The economic calendar is loaded with important economic data until the end of the week. Tomorrow, investors will get to know a services PMI by the Institute for Supply Management. Notably, the service sector accounts for at least 60% of the year's gross domestic product. Besides, investors are anticipating a report of major importance – official non-farm payrolls for August. The US dollar index fell to 92 and 40 yesterday. The expected trading range is between 92.00 and 92 and 50. The US dollar weakened amid the rise of the single European currency. The euro clicked into a jeer on the back of unexpectedly high inflation in the European Union. The EU CPI has not accelerated so much over the last 10 years. Against this background, yields of German bonds and also, uh, are also climbing. Of course, this boosted demand for the euro dragging the US dollar down. All in all, the economic data released today might summon fears about the economic recovery in the United States as well as fuel sell-offs of the US dollar. Actually, the greenback is now under selling pressure. The USD card pay is trading sideways as yesterday, now it's trading at near 1.2605 within the same range of 1.2550 to 1.2620. As we said earlier, the loony is again sensitive to oil prices. Currently, the oil market is extending a rally, hence the Canadian dollar is set to hold the upper hand over the American rival. And Bitcoin has surged uh, a whopping 7% over the last 24 hours. Eventually, its price has reached a resistance of $50,000 today. This long-awaited move has not come as a surprise. Now, a lot of experts suppose that the most popular cryptocurrency could extend its advance on conditions. It's able to hold firmly at this level for more than one or two days. Otherwise, a technical correction will follow. So, the price could decline to $47,000 or $49,000 per token. Meanwhile, crucial economic reports on the US economy are ahead at the end of the week. The US dollar depends on the euro for a while. Most market participants share the viewpoint that massive sell-offs of the greenback is around the corner. And that's all for today. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and see you tomorrow.